they'll be calling you a radical. So I don't think anybody can really wrap their mind around how epic this is. So I've got to explain. Now look, all you investigative journalists, you go all over the internet, all over these investigative journalists, all they do is use old stuff from 2020, from 48 hours, from Frontline, you know, Colbert, all these, they go to a certain level. It's like they get into the snout. And I get deep in the snout because I'm at field. I do the active. I'm an activist. I do the work. I'm out in about half a year, so I meet these people. I talk, like Greenwald. I know Greenwald was a CIA plan. I knew that Laura Poniez handed the chip to Greenwald. I knew that was a setup on Snowden. I knew that Laura Poniez's father's the one that killed Aaron Swartz. I know it because I knew Aaron Swartz. I met him in Brooklyn when I was out in the street doing the work. I do the work. Look, this is such a major deal, and let's explain. A lot of people don't get this. Spring Chinook are kings. They're the most hallowed beast maybe in the world, definitely in the Pacific. They're the basic fundamental creature of the mama, the birthplace of all life, the Pacific. I fight for her, she fights me, the mighty blue lady. The Spring Chinook is everything. They only travel up the long rivers. And I want to explain, this has been emergency closure the last, this is so paramount. You don't get this, you don't get this, that the woman at the Columbia, there's still no fish over this. This is beyond epic, this is beyond scary. This is beyond, this. the end of the ecology, oh boy. We know something, look, they go to sea for five years, I said it's gonna collapse in 20, so you wouldn't listen to me. You, you call yourself an environmentalist? You call yourself a human rights activist? You, hello, are you kidding? This is the greatest event in human history. You're talking the death of the Pacific Ocean. You know, I apostate that it's Fukushima. You don't even know what it is pouring into there. Do you think they're pouring? They, they killed it. They killed it. What, to protect the nuclear industry? These madmets, the same people that cut down the sequoias, same people that slaughtered the buffalo, same people that, look, the Shasta India, who are on the Spring Chinook, the god of salmon, you know, after they slaughtered them all, this is one of the few shafts that's left on Earth in Astoria where Noah's at. I'm going to Noah. We've been in there. I've showed you pictures and videos inside Noah. The propaganda machine that's going in Astoria, Oregon, on the propaganda machine at Noah. Oh, there we've tested nothing. That big signs all over there about Fukushima. We've tested nothing, nothing. They're liars. I mean, this is a propaganda show to protect the nuclear industry, the greatest. You're all about the one percent and the queen and her gold mines and everything are 19 trillion. Their biggest tool is nuclear energy. Their biggest tool, you're gonna bell them out in New York and Illinois. So this is so paramount. So this is the first big run is in Alaska. They're kings. I mean, these are big, massive, incredible beasts. The cycle go all the way up. First came God of Salmon, then, you know, water. So they historically about average on this certain drainage they have many, many tens of thousands. They've declined the last few years, so last year they had to dramatically lower the number. They dramatically lowered the number all the way to 3,600. They don't want to close these things. They know how freaking tied the economy of Alaska, Oregon, Washington are tied to this. They know, they know. That's the last thing they want to do is close this. So they're using projections. They have sonar out into the ocean. They have lots of boys, Noah has them all over out there, and Noah just, you know, they know where they're at but to a certain level. They still don't know the pirates through the deep, deep sea where these salmon go, they don't know. But they know when they get at a certain date, at a certain place, at a certain time, which is usually mid-February. They know where they're at by then, March 1st. They came out two days ago, and they're projecting, now hear this, this is extinction, this is so fucking scary less than 600. You heard me right. Less than 600. What? So it mirrors what happened this winter. I'm the only one reporting this on the fucking steelhead run. 99% collapse in places. None of them showed up. There's one fish who's made it to fucking Idaho. One spring Chinook. They call him black mouse. They call him, I mean, these are hallowed beasts. One. We named him Blanche. Well, I didn't. Tim named him Blanche. You know, this is incredible. This is beyond horrific, so we have a law called the Endangered Species Act. Noah has to enforce, so I'm going to go to Astoria, I'm going to go up there and wait till the head of Noah's there, which I've talked to multiple fishers, Benny and things, says this guy from Noah's a moron. It's, you know, they just gift brownie jobs, that's all they are. They, they're fucking, you know, but the buck stops, they sign contracts. They've refused to enforce this law. Now I want people to understand, executive orders are just that a joke. Executive orders mean nothing. Killer bombing, they, they're meaningless. Only Congress can make law. Period. Period. You know, we have, we used to have three branches of government. You know, you gave it all back to the monarchy, the fucking queen, Bill Gates, fucking Jeff Bezos, fucking both Clintons, fucking Donald Trump, they're all cousins. They're all the same fucking 
monarchy, 1916. They got it all back. You know, New York. What a great piece of spoof art. This is Campbell's. Ooh. That's all right. I don't give a fuck. Makes me more valuable. Let's try this again. Cool. Come on, kid. Same old thing. 1916. So I've been. Cassandra like on all this from the very beginning. It's gonna give you leukemia. I got leukemia, you know. It came back on me, fired back. I meditated it out of my life. Out of my body. I fought my doctor says I never seen anything like it. Because I exhausted my Medicaid. I exhausted my money. You know, I had about almost a million dollars. You know, it all went. Went on Medicaid for a little teeny bit, then they Mike Lee kicked me off Medicaid wise on I was So I got no safety net, so when it came back on me, you know, I got sick at the Bernie Sanders row that day. A little over a year, and I mean violently sick. I lost some teeth, I mean really sick, so I had no safety net. They wouldn't even treat me, nobody would treat me. You know, it got fucking bad. I've been, fuck, I think about it. The whole year 2016, I was so epically sick the whole time. I have scars on my arms, up and down for just 26, I bled through me, I lost some teeth. You know, but I fucking fought through it. It was, it was painful, it was horrible. I mean, this is the fucked up country we live in. Yeah, they nuked my father to death in Nevada test say. My mother never got a medal, whatever. This is an evil, evil country. They put him in a cage, you know, for penalty. In 1951, they fucking did it. He was a special forces guy, off the testing, off the everything. I mean, they took their best of their best. They nuked him, then they staged him at a fucking staging base in Santa Barbara County, off Pendleton, down below, up above, over the pass. And they did it again to him. It's called Air Blast 1 and Air Blast 2. I've seen the footage. My uncle's, I talked to my uncle this morning. I said, you willing to do interviews, blah, blah? I mean, this guy, you know, retired first fucking fighter mission in fucking Nam. Young, I mean, this guy's top surveillance of security, security, security of security at the Pentagon station for years. I mean, as hierarchy as they get. You know, I saw the footage because he showed it to me. So, this is the country we live in. Think about cutting down the sequoia. It's the only place on earth they grow. Think about what they did to the buffalo. They had bounties on them. Same fucking queens, fucking agents that placed out here, the fucking gold mines. They're all her. She's worth 19. It's the same old thing. We threw them out, they got it all back. You know, the American flag is nothing but the Union Jack. You know, they got it all back, these fucking CIA plant fucking rats like fucking Obama was, like Trump was, like the fucking both, you know, University of Chicago fucking Bill Rockefeller, Rose, Rosemary's baby, Rockefeller's baby, fucking Russell's baby, Rosemary's baby. Yoko Ono is the emperor of fucking Japan's first cousin. The emperor of Japan and her set together. Linda McCarthy and Yoko Ono went to the same fucking high school in Indian Point, New York. What's this Japan? She's your baby? She's, what do you think the suit can, uh, uh, Neo, anti Yoko, I know what the fuck I'm up to. The MoMA could kiss my ass. They captured it all. They captured the art, they captured television. They got it all back. The unconnected boy, Jackson Pollock, he was born out west to you. You know, dripping. Oh, he kicked that door. He pissed in their fucking, remember? He pissed in his fireplace, kicked over their fucking table. Oh yeah. I protest in front of the MoMA. I did a lot of work. I found a PhD and did that the exact same time. Because I know this trumps it all. You guys want to go down these rabbit holes and you only go this far. You go down this far and you stop because you're not willing to do the field work. Because you regurgitate old stuff like, you know, Colbert and all these guys, or Colbert Freeport, hey, he does good work. Don't get me wrong, I love all these guys' work. But they don't know what I know. I know for a fact that Laura Pony as his father is the fucking MIT. He's the MIT fucking endowment. Now think about this. You don't think Edward Snowden was in Fukushima, Japan. Lindsay Mills teed his ass up, that little fucking, she calls herself a foreign, she's a foreign saint, what am I? Lindsay Mills teed him up. Lindsay Mills is a CIA rat, she'll admit it. Fucking, so was fucking Snowden's parents, I'm mean, Snowden's parents. He'll admit it. They fucking knew they had a mole in the bunker in Hawaii. I knew Aaron's words. 
Laura Pony has his father's groups, the ones who fucking did that. Fucking, hey man, hey man, and Ortiz. He's a professor at fucking Harvard to this day. I knew Aaron Swartz because I was in Brooklyn those days, hanging around. We met in that old canyons. Hey, you think it's coincidence I'm the one that started the fucking Million Mass fucking March? Me and the fucking Ferris cuz? Oh. You think it's coincidence? I, I, I mean, you don't fucking ever have, you underestimate my power. Who could shut down all of Washington, D.C., 15th Street, fucking Pennsylvania, all of it, all of it, all of it, the whole fucking city on a Tuesday? Nobody can get away with that. Oh, I did. I did. Look it up. Look it up on November 5th. Remember, remember, the 5th of November. Remember that, 2013. Oh, I pulled that. Because of cancer. Because the head of fucking security sister had passed. Because I know this trumps everything. It trumps the NSA, it trumps the CIA, it trumps the fucking queen. They don't have secret medicine. They get good treatment. Don't kid yourself. I mean, like I got. I mean, I got into a, the number one bone marrow transplant, you know, and I did it without a bone marrow. I mean, you wouldn't believe what they did to me and how they did it. I mean, they threw the kitchen sink at me. But they did Marshall also. They did Carla also, and they both died. Ask Steve Chinese. Steve Chinese fucking jobs won't rob. One of his doctors was one of my doctors. He flew teams and teams and teams. I'm talking one of the richest men in the world. Another fucking CIA plant rat. Fucking Steve, what about bringing the jobs back to the United States? Barack Obama, they fucking Steve before they got to him. They're never coming back. They left them there. The only thing never coming back is Steve Chinese fucking jobs. They're a bunch of connected fucking rats, but this trumps it all. So you go down these rabbit holes, but you're just regurgitating. That's what PhDs do. That's the problem in academia. That's the problem with the environmentalists. Greed, peace, fucking thing. It's all about your own personal bullshit. Lazy fuckers. It's the soup can. As the curator walks out, the art critic won't. I've never worried about the art. I've always worried about the fucking curator. The critic. The critic walks out, we interview Warhol. Warhol's work sucked, he said. He says he's dripping off the cans. Why are you dripping? Oh, you got a drip. He's trying to be Jack. Jackson learned how to drip from fucking Max Ernst. At Orozco, he walked out of Thomas Hart Benton, another connect. Thomas, he got sick of Thomas Hart telling him to fuck off and walked across the street to 10th Avenue, Manhattan, off 8th, Mark Twain's old house. Orozco was in there fucking dripping. Max Ernst taught him how to drip. Had that can put the hole in it. But not like Jackson did. <laughs> Whoa. So he was trying to be him. Why are you dripping, Andy? Got a drip. I don't like fucking dripping. That's the point. The point is you can go along with the contemporary site on a YouTube site, on a vlog, and try to pacify to an AdSense account because they're playing you. Google's playing you. And you want to fucking feed the contemporary masses what you think they want to hear. Jesus died so I can bridge, fucking magic health thing, you know, written into the studio wall, concert hall, by the... They're playing. To be contemporized right now, you're a fool. So you do this investigative journalist, but you're using the, the old work. You're using 2020, 48 hours, fucking Frontline, which did good work in the day. They don't need more before they captured them. Sound was in Fukushima, Japan. Lizzie Mills came home. Remember? The little CIA troll rat that she is, living high, that little fucking... She makes me sick. You know, I got a central line. Two young girls her same age, there were 10 times, you want to talk performance hours? We're in the bone marrow transplant. Sucked up. When I do that piece with my central line hanging out on the anniversary of fucking Chernobyl in symphony with those, there's a little girl fucking same age as Lindsay Mills. Little girl from Chernobyl in there. Beautiful little thing, sucked up to nothing. She, you know, because you're sucked up to nothing. She was going to do that with me, like them in. I knew her, you know. Knew her. I mean, I was with her for a long time. Killed by peaceful nuclear energy. You don't think they sacrificed their lives? You know where they did that naked? Because nobody in fucking Europe would fucking report. So those beautiful fucking Ukrainian girls, long before it's feminine, they started that movement. Because of fucking Chernobyl, because of Mayak, because of the militia fucking dumps. They fucking knew it. They went into Chernobyl and took their clothes off and held those signs up killed by people. I posted those signs next to my sign and a bunch of you fucking sissy fucking rats fucking went crazy you fucking self-righteous phony fuckers fucking flagged it all on Facebook and Facebook fuck I got put in Facebook jail for showing a Ukrainian girl who's dying of fucking cancer fucking holding up a sign in Chernobyl giving her life to fucking call attention to you fucking fainting goats all over the world. It worked by the way. Europe they posted those fucking all over the front pages of every fucking paper in Europe. And everybody walked, oh, oh my God. Freudian on Balco. Our old lead to Vienna. So it's very sad. This is it. I called it Cassandra and Hamlet had a baby.
or I see for miles and miles and I do the work. So the critic says, his work sucked. He walked out and he says, then it hit me. It wasn't the painting of the soup can, it was the idea to paint the soup can. He wrote that. Warhol pissed him off, but the rest is infinite. Everybody laughed at those things. I'm the 33rd soup can, 311s, 11, 11, 11, 11, 311. I went into the bone marrow transplant on 11, 11. My little grandsons, both my little, you know, one week apart boys that look just like me, actors like, named after me. My little pair of 11s. I called that long before Fukushima happened. I had a, I, I've always, my whole life, said, that year scares me. That number scares me. You know, I've always had that in my head. I was afraid I was going to die that year. I had a premonition when I was a boy I was going to die that year. And then I found out my both my daughters were pregnant with our only boys in our family. The only boys in our family. And I'm like, that's it. I'm probably going to go. You know, God sent two. You know, and they look just like me. They act just like me. They're named after me. Went in the bone marrow plants on 11-11. Stood right here in this very place. It's going to give you leukemia clean. 2016, Sam will go to see. There were record runs in 2015, remember. Record runs. I says, and everybody argued with me, all the fishermen argued with me, everything. And then the sardines collapsed. Then I'm the one, the first one. I says, look, this is, the starfish are going away. I'm the first one. I'm, I walked the whole coast in critical condition. I walked it. I said, the sea, I'm the first one to report all this because the media refused to do that because America's a group of cowards. America's a bunch of fucking cowards. Home of the cowards, land to be afraid. You know, these fucking oligarchs have got it all back. 1916. You know, Cecil Rhodes said, we're going to form a secret society to get it all back. David Rockefeller's fucking baby. Not going to. You still think it's, you're still waiting fucking for the main event. Main event happened. But this trumps all that. You go down all these roads, it doesn't matter now. It doesn't matter now. Because the greatest event in human history happened. Fukushima, the Malta, which I, and I tried to explain to you, all seven of them blew to smithereens that day in the atmosphere. Where's the cores? They're in your bone marrow, which I've been saying from day one. Diani blew too. But we had a camera on Diachi in the China Sea. The Chinese activists put that there. That's the only reason you ever know any of them blew up. By the way, Fukushima went, had an accident before. I did lecture after lecture after lecture on this university, you know, General, who built these reactors. About to eat. these criminal enterprise called Chicago Bridge or the Savannah River nightmare. I went crazy about it then. You, the bridge collapses in Atlanta because somebody built a fire? You're, you won't put any money into your infrastructure? No, because you're putting it into those bullshit nuclear reactors in Georgia. 22 billion, 19 billion for something you will never use. It's a loot. It's a rip of Chicago Bridge robbed you. General Electric robbed you. You can't see that. You know, pull up your bootstraps, cut food stamps. You know, you won't spend anything, but you'll. Trump fuck administration is the Obama administration. 54 billion for more nuke? Nuke energy and nuclear bombs is the exact same thing. What's Y12? Yo, you know, we repress all over in Saudi Arabia. And Saudi Arabia chops heads off. They fucking do, of course. But the Saudi royal family, the English royal family, Putin, they're, it's the same, they're all cousins. It's the same family. The Clintons, Trump, Barack Obama's mama. You know, his father was a polygamist. His mom named Stanley. Look it up. Think she had daddy issues? Kissinger's baby. Rockefeller's baby. Rosemary's baby. Russell's fucking baby. They killed the world. They did it. 100 million dead trees in California. All the fucking typos. Nobody will do it. You think about 45 million people. Nobody will do it. I'm a Utah boy. I documented every typo. I've seen every inch of that coast. You know how hard it is to walk the coast of California on the ocean? A lot of them, they won't even let you. I did it anyway. You know, it's almost impossible. Well, I did it. Video proof. You know, so this is it. Less than 600 keys. What? What? There's 14 right now. The woman eight still has none. Zero. What? We're 33% into the run. Now, granted, the, the big run starts about May, March 20th. The Columbia has had 14. Their biggest day's been two. The other, these other fucking dams have got zero. They, they post them every day. The sonar. They know these numbers because it's time. This is the biggest fucking story in human history, bar none. You know, you're testing. What are you testing for starvation? Big fish eat little fish. You broke the chain. It's the ecology, stupid. It's Futon. Which is I came up with that in the early days. This is the synergistic effect. The fucking red sun, the red sun. Livermore on their walls. I protested day 1000 with Livermore. I posted it's the creepiest place on earth. The nuclear lab. I protested an Idaho nuclear lab. I posted them all my whole life. I eat, sleep, drink this my whole life, literally. You know, I watched my father die. The human lab rat is death. 
watch him die in the prime of his life. I watched Annika die. I sat with them both, held their hands as they both died. It's horrible. It's the horrible way on earth to die, by the way. So you know. I was all the way to the end. I went through the whole pro death process, right to the end, right to the edge. Going in and out of a coma, clinging. Nurses in there praying for me, tickling my back, fucking crying inside that unit. I read 10, I'm down to nothing. Went from 170 to 119 in fucking matter of weeks. I went from 175 to 130 in three weeks. Just stomach ache. What timing, huh? The day I was due to speak at the academy. Thought I had a stomach ache. Sent home to die with hospice. Found a YouTube video. They dug into my hip. Vincent Hansen knew me. My family, my uncle's a neurosurgeon. You know, Thomas from the grave. I refused the surgery. You know, I've done this with my mind, with food, with the fucking fight. This is an incredible fucking story. And by the way, so I'm going to go to Storia and I'm going to arrest the fucking, I'm going to do a citizen's arrest on the head of Noah. Emergency Species Act, because look, she can fight back. We don't know her powers. We don't, just like mine. You know, I fought back. Death sentence. First person on Earth to survive AML OS de Nuvo without a book. First one they know of on Earth. Now, Brian Morse did it. There's an interview with he and I together. He used to come into my room. Sam, he didn't die. That's what I'm hoping there's this little Kevin who swam to fucking Idaho, but it takes two to tango. I don't know if it's a buck or a hand, but it takes two. So if they emergency close it a long time ago, which they should have done, then maybe they have a chance. Maybe she has a chance, but if you just continue to let this go on, you the cover up of Fukushima just to protect this fucking royal family's fucking uranium mines, their fucking waste, these fucking scumbags, that's all this has ever been. Barack Obama, the greatest crime in human history. By law, they have to emergency close it, and they didn't. They didn't. And you'd be arrested. The head of Noah, it's their call. It's their call. Well, it's not their call, it's their duty by law to emergency announce the murder. They haven't done it. That's against the fucking law. They need to be arrested. Daryl, all you people that work for the government or inside agencies, whatever, just like Flint, Michigan, the buck stop where every one of you violate you sign contracts, county commissioners, fucking, you know, academia professors, everybody that's played along because it's you're regurgitating old information. Because you're all a bunch of lazy fucks. Because you never did learn how to uh -oh. Ain't the fucking suit can. Stay in America, home of the cowards, land of the...